got, you got no problem. I, I was talking to Red about, you know, we all, we all love Red because at a party, of, as we've been friends for all these years, nobody ever talks to him about the, you know, you read about him saying, I want a window in a, in a dressing room and all that jazz, which is his business, ain't mine. But uh, we, you never hear about the good things. And tell me, how did you get involved with the, with the Red Fox Foundation? Because I know, because yeah. that's how I became chief of police. Well, I, well, uh, my good friend yeah. over here, the commissioner of White from Long Beach, uh, got me involved. He found uh, people needed someone, and it was only opening was for chief of police. So I didn't know nothing about um, police, you know, work yeah. per se. But uh, all of my friends around the country, black detectives, black policemen, commissioner, and uh, inspector in Chicago, Les Anglin, yeah. they're all good policemen in their city. So when they get time free, they come to TAF to see that we uh, get our police force together and our officers are trained. It's a small place, five miles, five miles, five miles, like that. Mm -hmm. But we got five miles of highway that we intend to handle pretty soon. And uh, see, they don't just run speed through. And we have a uh, home for wayward girls in uh, Taft, Oklahoma. And I think that's the uh, most important part of the country when you have young women who can't get this stuff together. They have a home there. And I want to do something about that so that they are not released to go into Taft and into the streets, uh, have guys driving all over from all around 50 mile radius to have an affair with them in Taft, Oklahoma. It's important to me because uh, women are going to be the producers of our uh, future generation, whatever color they are. They're all colors when they come there. And it's in my town. And I intend to do something about it. And I uh, just passed through and I saw it. the kids had to go 11 miles from Taft, Oklahoma to Muskogee. You heard the song, yeah. Oakley from Muskogee? Well, they have to go 11 miles to swim. And it gets hot down in Oklahoma. That's why I was asking people, you know, to Give me a little hand. The president, too. I talked to him when uh, Night Dreaming was enshrined in the Football Hall of Fame, and he said he'd give me an audience, and I'll talk to him about the, helping me get uh, Taft, Oklahoma together so that blacks can prove that they can do something about a town and run it, and run it clean, and run it beautiful, and help other people, not only blacks. I don't care what color you are. I always said in my act, if nuclear war comes, we'll all be black. <coughs> you know? Will you do Sanford? Was, is Sanford based upon any cat you knew, or did you create him out of fab fabric, you know, your own, like I did with Bojangles, you know, no. the Bojangles I created myself. Uh, Fred Sanford is Mary Sanford, who is my mother. Uh, but you can uh, reverse personalities into mm -hmm. male or female, I think, but my mother would do the same thing that Fred Sanford did. My mother would have a heart attack when I was a kid. I remember if she wanted something done, she would hardly breathe. <laughs> she had, no, she had emphysema, she had cancer, she had lumbago, she had uh, some whooping cough, which they don't have anymore. I don't know what they call it now, but she still has whooping cough. I remember, I like to say this about my mother, but I, she called me one time, she, uh, not less than a month ago, she said, son, mama's not feeling so good. And, you haven't called me in two weeks. I said, I'm gonna send some money, some money over there this evening, Ma. She's gonna send some money over this evening. And he's gonna send it back. They're gonna make sure you put an envelope. Put an envelope to somebody go get me. They steal the money, baby. It's time for the day we got to ask people out there with some kids. You know? Yeah. But I, I love the relationship. And, and unlike other television series that hit popularity, there has been you and Lamont and it has opened. Do you ever want to leave the show? Oh, yeah, I, I can't do anything too steady, you know. I yeah. left my mother when I was 13. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just can't, you know, if people don't know how hard uh, doing a series is, and when people make comment about my window, well, I have claustrophobia. And I can stay in the elevator about three or four flights, and then I have to wait and have me a cigarette and keep going. And so when I work in a place and there's no window, I go berserk. You know, that's why I had a lot of trouble because the only human being in the mind works a certain way. And if you have claustrophobia, that's what you got. And if I was can't see a bird or a tree all day, I just flip. So I'm a rebel now as far as people are concerned. But I'm not that, that way. I'm just a nice guy until somebody touched me. Well, I don't. <laughs> and I get the 
Actually, I may be wrong, but in watching the show, I get the feeling that a lot of the characters that you introduce into the show are old guys, old friends they that are. you've worked with through the years, and that shows great loyalty. Well, I'm it? glad it comes through, even though it wasn't said. Oh, it really is. Because you, you watch his show, you will find more cats that you've known that, yeah. at least I know when I watch the show and I tape it, you know, I have my home tape recorder. Well, and I watch it and I go, I thought he had, I didn't yeah. know he was still around. Right. I go find him from 30 years ago because uh, a lot of people who retired from showbiz never thought they'd get a shot on TV. I find him somewhere because it's good actors and actresses out there would give a lung to just one shot. So I just find him and put him on, man, it'd be good. Yeah, Come on. Norma was one. Norma Norm Miller. Norma Miller. Right, but uh, Bubba, John yeah. Don Bexley, you know, right. you know Don, we worked all through Ohio and everywhere in Pennsylvania when it was rough. In the bad time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna, Red's gonna stay with us, but I have 